This is Andy Pro for Boxing Social in association with Betfred and I'm delighted to be joined by Brad the Blade Foster, the current British and Commonwealth Champion here at the Emporium Gym in Birmingham. Brad, first and foremost, how are you doing mate? Not too bad, how are you? I'm good, I'm good, obviously good to see you in person, first on for, yeah, um, I, I can't remember, I think it's back to the, the Lucian Reed victory, how have you found these past few months? Uh, it's been a bit difficult at times. Obviously, you have to make the most of the situation, don't you? Obviously, it's not what anyone wants to be locked down. Um, but as I said, you have to make the most of the situation and you have to continue to try and live the life that you did before. How have you found kind of trying to train around the guidelines that were in place? No, no, I know you work as well part-time yeah. on the side. Um, it's a little bit harder because you've got to do like running yeah. at home. Um, just going out and runs and that you can't really train in the in the gyms, which most boxers like doing. They like going to the gym, getting their session in, and then they can come home. Um, I've got a little bag in the shed as well that I, that when first lockdown um, started, I was using that bag there. But um, as I said, you, you just got to do what you can really in this situation. Now, obviously, you're the first man or one of the first two men who's going to be returning to the boxing ring on live TV from next week when you face James Beach Jr. Just first and foremost, Brad, just explain to me how exactly the opportunity came about and for how long you've been talking with Frank and your team about making that fight. Um, I knew about not that, not too long ago. Obviously, with my fight in February, I made a good impression there and uh, stopped Lucian Reed. And then to be like to fight again in this sort short time, you know, I'm privileged to be in this situation. I'm going to grab the opportunity with both hands. What do you know of James? Um, I know he's a good fighter. I sparred him before um, the Lucian Reed fight. The last one I did six six rounds with Beach, and then a, another lad jumped in for six. Um, and I know he's a good fighter. Um, and I know he's coming to to put a good fight in and to try and take the belts off me. When you reflect, obviously, on those sparring sessions, what can you take from it? You know, do you take confidence from it, or do you not really look into it? Uh, I don't look into it too much. Um, because sparring, sparring, fighting, fighting, it's completely different when you've got them eight ounce gloves on yeah. um, and you're under them lights on fight night. Everyone levels up on fight night. So um, I'm expecting a good fight, but I'm expecting a Brad Foster win. Beach will obviously be an unknown quantity to many. What should we expect from the pair of you when you are in the ring on Friday night? Um, two hungry lads who want to win the fight. Because I know he's a hungry lad. He's uh, won two Midlands titles, so he's, he's done championship fights. Um, he's done the 10 round distance twice, um, so he's a good lad, he ain't no mug. Obviously on the back of such a terrific performance against Lucian Reed last time out, you're the first man to return to the ring on live TV this time. Are you feeling the pressure to deliver a game in front of what will be, I anticipate, huge numbers on, on TV network? Uh, I wouldn't say I'm feeling the pressure, my job is to just get in there and win the fight. I don't think about what everyone else is going to think, my job is to get in there, shine, which I'm confident I will do, and win the fight and keep that British belt. How do you feel boxing behind closed doors? What's your thoughts on kind of that scenario? Uh, I, that doesn't really bother me, to be honest. Well, we'll, we'll find out on the night. Um, obviously, there's not going to be a crowd there, but the job is still the same. Um, the job is to still win the fight and win it comfortably. I know you have a, a huge support, Brad Barmy Army. Yeah. How much of a miss do you think that will be on the night? Because I know how much it means to you to have them following you up and down the country. Yeah, yeah, obviously I have a, a brilliant support coming from Litchfield. Um, I'm sure they'll be cheering me on at home. There'll be a few house parties, I imagine, yeah. when I win. Um, so uh, thank you to them. I hope they uh, tune in on BT Sport. How are you anticipating the fight playing out when you are in the ring? Um, we'll think of it when we get in there. Mm -hmm. I know. I know it's going to go in my head, um, but we'll see when we're in there. When, just to go back to obviously the, the TV side of things, this could be obviously a brilliant opportunity for yourself to get your name out there to an even bigger prospect to what it was when you fought Lucian Reed and previous occasions before that, simply because you are the first name back. How big of an opportunity is this for you to kind of stamp your authority on British boxing? Oh, it's a massive opportunity, as you said. Look, what, look how much people have missed football. Yeah. And how, how big that was when it came back. It's going to be the same with boxing because there's a lot of boxing fans out there. And to be the first fight back, um, you know, I have to shine and I'm confident I will do. And it's a massive opportunity in front of a massive audience on BT Sport. Obviously, we're, we're still kind of adhering to social distancing rules. We're obviously a metre away yeah. here or two metres away. 
how, I know it's kind of hard to say, but how can you see the rest of this year, provided next Friday goes to plan? Do you think you will be out again, or do you think it's going to be hard because of the current situation? Uh, I'm thought? not. I'm not thinking past this fight. I'm thinking of getting the win um, next Friday on the 10th of July, and then we can assess what's next after that. Um, hopefully, a few of the uh, clubs and that open, so I can go for a dance and get back to normal life after I won this fight, um, and get back to normality, doing the things that you enjoy in life. Um, but my main goal is to uh, win on the 10th of July. I spoke to PJ, your manager, and he said, obviously, if you're victorious next Friday, you win that title outright, the British title outright. What would that mean to you at such a young age to be able to do so? Um, that'd be. That was one of my goals when I was a kickboxer. Obviously, when I turned over at 18 with no amateur fights, no no boxing fights, my goal was to win the British title outright. And you know, this is going to be a massive night for me. That's why I've worked so hard in training. That's why I'm really motivated to get in there and shine. Do you ever look back and think to yourself, you've surprised yourself by just how, how well you've taken to boxing? From I know you have a brilliant kickboxing background, but to the transition of sports to very different sports is a lot more focus on other aspects to boxing and what you have in kickboxing. Has it ever surprised you by just how well you've taken to the sport? Uh, I surprise myself every day, to be honest. <laughs> um, I learn every day. I'm still a young young lad, you know, 22. I'm, I'm still a babe in the sport. So I'm just learning as I go on, learning every day, surprising myself every day. And, uh, you know, winning fights and who knows where I can go. Brad, one thing I just wanted to ask you as well, a name that's kind of been eager to get about with yourself different promotional banner, underneath a different promotional banner, is uh, Kez Ashfak. Is that a fight that you've, you've thought about or you've been interested in? Yeah, I know he's a good fighter, but um, 10th of July I'm fighting James Beach, not Ashfak, <laughs> so I've got to get through that one first. <laughs> That's very well said there, Brad, and I will leave you now to have your training session. It's been a pleasure to catch up with you, mate. Nice Best of luck for next Friday, and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks for being to Thank you very much. Yeah.